to be able to circulate properly. Our nerve cells benefit from movement, and our skin is elastic, meaning it molds to our motions. What happens when you just don't? Let's start with the backbone of the problem, literally. Your spine is a long structure made of bones and the cartilage discs that sit between them. Joints, muscles, and ligaments that are attached to the bones hold it all together. A common way of sitting is with a curved back and slumped shoulders, a position that puts uneven pressure on your spine. Over time, this causes wear and tear in your spinal discs, overworks certain ligaments and joints. This hunched shape also shrinks your chest cavity while you sit, meaning your lungs have less space to expand into when you breathe. Around the skeleton are the muscles, nerves, arteries, and veins that form the body's soft tissue layers. The very act of sitting squashes, pressurizes, and compresses, and these more delicate tissues really feel the brunt. Have you ever experienced numbness and swelling in your limbs when you sit? In areas that are the most compressed, your nerves, arteries, and veins can become blocked, which limits nerve signaling, causing the numbness and reduces blood flow in your limbs, causing them to swell. Unfortunately, the ill effects of being seated don't only exist in the short term. Recent studies have found that sitting for long periods is linked with some types of cancers and heart disease and can contribute to diabetes, kidney, and liver problems. In fact, researchers have worked out that worldwide, Inactivity causes about 9% of premature deaths a year. That's over 5 million people. But luckily, the solutions to this mounting threat are simple and intuitive. When you have no choice but to sit, try switching the slouch for a straighter spine. And when you don't have to be bound to your seat, aim to move around much more, perhaps by setting a reminder to yourself to get up every half hour. But mostly, just appreciate that bodies are built for motion, not for...